All right, hopefully all the settings are working properly, but uh, what is going on guys? It's Victorian bringing you another video today. And in today's video, we are gonna check out the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 reveal trailer. So hopefully it's good, man. I have high hopes for this game and I'm really, really hoping that this is gonna be a game that brings back the Call of Duty community, but that is a lot to ask for and we will see. So we're gonna go ahead, jump right in and watch this trailer. All right, let's do it. Good evening. The Soviet Union is no more. Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly serve our national interest. Free from the specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. So obviously the graphics look absolutely amazing so far and it looks like this game is going to take place in 1991 so my previous comment on i think it's going to be modern was wrong so 1991 is the year that this has taken place something big i'm a fire starter the big fire starter i figured if i stuck around hell long enough i'd see the devil how's he look i'm a fire starter this area right here looks familiar. This almost looks like that one area in uh, Modern Warfare Zombies. It's got to be a different map, though. I, I feel like they wouldn't do that to us. The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. <laughs> that was cool. You don't have to trust me. Did they just cover up a gun? Is that what that was? They didn't show what gun he was using right here. Hold on, I want to go back and watch that a little a little, a little slower. That looks like a M16, I think. Okay, we're going to put this back at normal speed. I'm trying to think of what guns were very popular back in the 90s. I want to say the M16 was one of them. You don't have to trust me, Marshall. But it might be better if you do. Hey, some you Woods is back. Let's go. We, into? we already knew that, though. Don't trust anyone. That guy looks badass. AK-74. Okay. Things got complicated. Jesus. May God continue to bless the United States of America. Pre order the. And of course, they're going to have their pre order crap at the end. So this is Brutus. Uh, he's gonna. I have a feeling he's gonna end up being in zombies in some way, shape, or form. Vault edition and get the Hunters vs. Hunted Operator Pack, the Mastercraft Weapon Collection. These are the guns that are gonna be in it. Very Ethereum esque. Um, Jackal PDW uh, LR762. So this is gonna be a 308 sniper. Um, this looks like an assault rifle, and then obviously the combat knife and a shotgun. These guns look super, super cool. So I think this is going to continue on with the Ethereum uh, side of zombies. I'm hoping. Obviously, we'll see as time goes on. Guns look really cool, though. The Season 1 Black Cell Bundle and more. Hold on. Go back. Gobble Gum Pack. Okay, so they are going to be selling Gobble Gums. Damn it. Okay. I didn't want them to sell Gobble Gums, but it's looking like they're going to. And there is Woods as a zombie. Younger Woods, and then probably the transition of him turning into a zombie right here. So that's the trailer. I'm going to go go back through it and play it a little bit slower. And I don't know all the multiplayer names of all the characters. Personally, I don't really care. I don't play it for the multiplayer. But it does look like this multiplayer is going to be very interesting. 
So we're going to go back through and watch it one more time. See if we can see anything a little bit different this time. As far as guns go, this guy here is definitely holding an M16. I don't know if for sure if this is an M16. It's really hard to tell from the angle that it's at. Okay, so here's my guess. For this mission, I have a feeling this guy right here is a security. So you may be playing as this guy, possibly, or somebody else in this room. And it looks like the president is going to be standing up here. And someone maybe is going to try to kill him in this room. So mission wise you you may be playing a security guard in, in in this mission meeting the future bill clinton okay what the fuck was that what is this so this looks like a 3d printed soldier kind of hold on i wish i could go back like one frame this looks like a toy what is this that is very weird. Okay, so this looks like a grappling hook, basically. So this goes onto your wrist and your hand, and you grapple with this, and there is the wire. So, interesting. This guy right here looks sick. So this is obviously a juggernaut. He's decked out in some heavy armor, and he's got a minigun. That's pretty cool. I always love these kinds of missions. So obviously, your job is to like kill these soldiers that are kind of scattered around that aren't your teammates and kill any vehicles that are coming in and okay so you're gonna be playing as a as a chopper gunner in this game definitely m16 okay so that's confirmed this gun right here looks like a ak-74u which i believe is a submachine gun version of the regular ak which actually this was one of my favorite guns in the older call of duty so i'm very glad to see that that's back that was actually a really cool transition that that guy just did. So I don't know if you noticed, he dolphin dived and then it looked backwards. That actually is a very cool move. I really hope that that is going to be in the actual game. So dolphin diving is definitely in this game. Okay, so as far as guns go for this game, the ones that I've already noticed. So if this is going to be back in 1991, I have a feeling we're going to see a version of the Beretta M9, which was military standard at that time. We're probably going to have a Glock, we're probably going to have the Desert Eagle, and we're probably going to have a 1911. So, as far as firearms go, that, that'll probably be the secondaries that we see. Uh, for the primaries, the ones that I did see for sure, we're going to have probably a uh, M16, which is the three-round burst uh, assault rifle. We're going to see the AK-74U as a submachine gun. We're going to see the AK-47 as the primary. Uh, also, around that time, they probably had... The MP5 as a secondary, I don't think the MP7 was made then. I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of what other guns they would probably put in there. Maybe the Galil, the Galil may be coming back. Good evening. The Soviet Union is no more. Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly clearly serve our national interest. Free the specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Something big. I'm a fire starter. Terrific fire starter. I figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. You don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be better if you do. Alright, uh, so hostage situation. Some you should see. What the hell are we getting into? That one right there still doesn't make any sense to me. What the hell is that? What the hell are we getting into? This is like a doll of some sort. And I don't really... The room doesn't make any sense. This may be like a... A nightmare or something. Don't trust anyone. That gun right there sounded a whole lot like the Galil.
This might be the glil that he's shooting right here. It sounds like it. You broke into a CIA black site. That dolphin dive is so cool. Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. Continue to bless the United States of America. Pre that is so cool. Okay. So, initial thoughts. The trailer looks insane. It looks like there's going to be a ton of stuff going on in this campaign. So, it looks like you're going to be an undercover spy. You're probably going to be protecting the president or serving for the president in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so, that means maybe an assassination is going to be going on in this game. And you're gonna, your job is to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, it looks like there's going to be, uh, you riding on a bike. It looks like you're going to be driving a truck. You, it looks like you're going to be a chopper gunner. I'm hoping you're going to be able to fly a jet for one of the missions. So you can just like destroy whatever you want. Uh, except for your teammates, obviously overall, the campaign looks insane. I'm really trying to figure out what kind of guns they're going to have in this because like it takes place in the nineties. In so it's not going to be the same guns that we've had for the past few games. It's going to be a little different. I'm still pretty confident that that was the Galil that I saw back there uh, when he was shooting at the chopper. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident in that. I am glad to see that dolphin diving is back. That's going to be awesome. Overall, Black Ops 6 looks absolutely insane. You can already tell that they're going to be selling the living crap out of the same stuff that they have been. So all the microtransactions, they're going to be selling tons of skins. They're going to be selling gobble gums. They're going to be selling all sorts of different stuff. I don't blame them. They got to make their money in one way, shape, or form. I get it. But everything so far looks really, really good. Keep in mind that they've been working on, on this game for two years now. So uh, it should be pretty well dialed in. Some of the parts where they were blocking out information didn't make any sense to me because it seemed like some of them were, were covering faces or covering a gun. And then some of them were just like covering random areas of a room and it didn't make any sense to me. But I mean, hey, more power to them. Uh, I don't really... I didn't really see the point in it, but maybe that's that's the purpose. Maybe maybe they were blocking off crucial information and that I missed. So, so far, I'm really excited about it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts is down below in the comments. One of the comments in this says, my history teacher is about to be genuinely tweaking it after I tell him that there were moving mannequins in the post-Cold War era. Yeah, somebody else here noticed the backwards dive. <laughs> this guy here said, can't wait to see Nicki Minaj battle Woods. While holding a lightsaber in a few months after release. Yeah, I'm sure that's where it's going. Alright, so it looks like in the description here it says, All new campaigns set in Gulf War era. 12 new 6v6 maps and 4 new strike maps at launch. Return of round-based zombies. Okay, so they themselves confirmed round-based zombies. Overall, this looks very exciting. I'm really hoping that this is going to be a good game. But... Again, it's the COD cycle, right? So they come out with a trailer. Everyone's super excited. They say, hey, don't forget to pre-order it. And then, you know, they end up, the game comes out, and then it's just a disappointment. So I'm really hoping this game is not going to be that way. But obviously, we'll see. A lot of the comments are saying, don't pre-order yet. Wait to see what happens later because that, that's just how it is. It, it, it's probably going to end up being disappointment, but we're really hoping it's not. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.